In this video, we are going to take a look at creating point groups and assigning our points to a specific point group or having one point group for all the points that we have there. So I have a number of points here. I've got a pile of dirt with uh, one ASCM marker up there. And as we see over here in the point group list, we only have a point group called all points. So this, this is never a good idea to have every single point in one point group because we'll have the existing points as we have here, but we, all, uh, we may also have design points. So say we're building a road up here. We do not want the existing points mixing with the design points in just one placeholder point group. So creating a point group is as simple as right clicking on point groups and selecting new. So the first point group I'm gonna make is called control points because we never want to include a control point in our actual design, any iron pins, any survey markers. We don't want to include that in our design because they may be on a concrete pedestal. They may be buried underground and they're not a true representation of the surface itself. My point style, I'm going to call it EDDT control point. And just, I'll just use the description for that. Actually, maybe we'll do description and elevation. This gives you a list of all the point groups in the drawing. We uh, raw description matching, we could uh, set some stuff here, but if we include with raw description matching, I'm gonna type in ASCM with a star. And if this still works, it should look at ASCM and grab everything that has the word ASCM in it. We can include it with a number matching, we could select that specific one, but if you have 50, 60, 70 ASCMs, you don't wanna do that one by one by one. We could look for specific elevations. We can look with names matching. I'm, however, just going to grab the description. We can exclude also based on the same parameters. And we'll look at those other options after. But I'm going to hit OK because I want to include everything with the word ASCM with a star. So if I click on my control points group, it's grab point one with an elevation or sorry, with the description of ASCM star. And if we zoom in and take a look, it's, it's included that control point symbol for us because it's built into the point group. Now I have three different kinds of points on this pile. I've got the toe of the pile and it looks like we've had two different surveyors here. So toe and toe loam pile. We have the shoulder of the pile and then we have the top of the pile. So I'm gonna make three point groups. So I'm gonna go new again. I'm gonna call this toe of loam pile and feel free to make as many point groups as you need i'm going to make all of them different symbols so we can see the different information i can include the control points point group in this i can include with raw description descriptions matching toe now if i just click ok it's only going to grab these and here i'll do that now so it's only grabbed anything with the word toe but if we, sorry, I'm going to right click properties. If we use the trick that we just learned previous with the toe star. So anything that starts with toe and ends with anything else, it will pick it up. And that did not work. Did I type it in wrong? Toe. Star, so toe loam pile. Okay, I just had to do a simple regen all and it picked, picked those ones up. I'm gonna make another new point group called the shoulder of loam pile. And I'm just gonna make these, uh, the groundwater was last one, we'll do monitoring wells this time. Include with raw descriptions matching. Now I could just type shoulder star but if you can type the whole word out, then you can confirm and make sure that no other points are accidentally included if you just do the word shoulder. And those are the same style, so I'm going to change them to, we'll just do boreholes, we'll make them red. And finally, I'm gonna make one new last point group top of loam pile. I'm going to set this one to just a test pit marker so we can see that it's different and include with raw descriptions matching loam and we'll hit okay. 
So we can see that we have now included, I believe, all of our points. There may be one or two that hopefully were not typed wrong. Oh, we got a couple here that are named ground. So three points named ground that I would assume that are loam as well. So instead of changing these, I'm going to right click edit points and always double triple check before you go and do this that these are actual loam piles and that there's a surveyor that just typed the name in wrong. So we hit OK and as we see they haven't changed even a regen doesn't doesn't seem to affect them however if we look at our top of loam pile we can right click update and they have taken on the new style of loam. Again, just make sure before you go in and just change points like that. So all of our points should now be included in one of these four point groups. However, I'm gonna make an entirely new point group. I'm gonna name it entire loam pile. And we will make this style, we'll just make it, we'll make it design back to the, just the round circle. I'm going to include, in this case, I'm going to use numbers matching, and I'm going to select every single point. So it's picking up points 2800 to 28065, 28079 to 28234, and I'll hit OK. And as you have noticed, the point style has changed. Now in the next video, how to modify these point groups and adjust the display, we are going to go over that in the next video. However, this was just making some point groups, breaking them out with, uh, we used including descriptions, sorry, including with descriptions, including with just point na matching numbers, selection side and drawing. Alternatively, you could come in here and type the numbers. You could do names matching. You can exclude based on the same information. We could override based on, st uh, based on a style. Here's the point list, all the points that are in the point group itself, and then just a summary.